This incredible car collection, not just any cars, but a rare and never before seen publicly. It is the owner of Russo and Steel's personal collection. So this is big time. Gibby is out there where they are unveiling the classic cars. I hear they are fantastic. Well, well, they're amazing. And here's the thing, right, guys? Uh, we always talk about, Scott, you just celebrated 30 years. I've celebrated 25 years over at the station. But uh, it's always said to us that if you were doing something you love, then you never work a day in your life, right? That's the same thing here. When you talk about Russo and Steel, yes, they're going to be celebrating their 20 years of an auction house out here. And you're going to take a look at a private look at this collection out here. These aren't for auction. The, each one of these cars has a story, has a meaning, has a reason why it's in this area because it means something true and dear to Josephine and Drew Ak uh, Alcazar. Yes, sir. I said it right. I'm sorry about that. Drew, the, did I get it right? I mean, the passion is here. You've been loving cars, putting cars together for years, and now it's something to turn in 20 years later. You have this auction that continues to thrive. Well, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to be celebrating our 20th anniversary for Russo and Steel. Um, the collection that we're looking at today, really, this is kind of just Josephine and I's cars. Some of these we've had over 20 years. Uh, the auction for us just is an extension of this enthusiasm. We'd be vintage racing, road rallying, showing cars, even if we didn't have the auction. But uh, sort of the Russo and Steel auction is that camaraderie that glues everything together. And of course, 20th anniversary, we're pretty excited. We're back, of course, at Scottsdale Road and the 101 Freeway. So that's our location, again, for this year, as we've had many years past. Uh, Josephine's reviving her gala, so we're benefiting Phoenix Children's Hospital with the opening preview night gala. Ten of the top chefs in the valley are going to be showcasing all of their culinary talents, so that's pretty exciting. But it'll be f uh, five days of auctions. We're going to be actually going from the 15th to the 19th in January, so basically surrounding that third weekend in January, make sure you make some time to stop by and have some fun with us. You know, as we look at these, we, we see this Ferrari here, one of your, uh, one of your uh, collections here. I'd mentioned there's a story to each one of these. Is, is that what matters here? And this, and I think that's what co connects every car collector, right? Is that they go get a car, not necessarily because this happens to be the best car in the world, but it's the best car in the world to you. Uh, agreed. I think, at least for us anyway, all of the cars have very close personal connections. Uh, the Jaguar E-Type was Josephine's very first car, 16 years old in Phoenix, Arizona. She somehow talked her dad into buying her an E-Type Roadster. I restored that for her for her 55th birthday. Uh, the very first car that uh, I gave to her for our first Valentine's Day we still have. Uh, say, for example, the 63 Ford Galaxy for my great-grandfather that my folks gave me when they took my Mach 1 away from me after I was a terrorist at 16 years old. <laughs> Um, the very first uh, Viper that got delivered to the public uh, for the GTS, uh, I've got the truck that actually was at the pace that, uh, or at the race uh, when Bob Lutz paced the race with the Viper. So all of these cars have got little special stories to us that are just really more meaningful. Not necessarily the car is overly valuable or the car is even that significant as a collector car, but I think similar to other collectors, uh, they just have a deep personal meaning. They do have a personal meeting, and when you think about it, I just mentioned 20 years, that means you're doing something right. That means you're doing something uh, where people not only agree with what you're doing, they love to see what you are doing. And Scott, uh, as part of that giving and as part of a, a personal story is, I'm going to remember the time I interviewed Drew, and he said to me, Gibby, you know what, just pick a car, any car, and you can... Look at it for five more minutes, and then you got to get out of here. I was wondering what the next line <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah, really. Yeah, I wouldn't even touch them. I wouldn't even get within ten feet no. of them. I mean, you're just safer that way. Yeah, you can't even afford that. To fix that a is an amazing collection, car. though. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah.